Is that going to be, um, that's part of your branding, hey? Everyone will know you now with the, with the monkey it's hat. It's just, <laughs> they send it out for free when they have promotions and, uh, and my husband loves it and he wants one. And I said, well, I can't, I can't buy you one because they don't have. Oh, we've got a bit of sound. Let me just turn that down. There we go. We had a bit of feedback. Oh, okay. I love that. <laughs> I don't think I got one when I signed up. Oh, I didn't get one when I signed up. I was having, uh, I, I emailed, oh, well, I chatted to support. And at the end, she said, she sent me this link and said, oh, you can choose from, they had this or a T-shirt or something else. I said, oh, this looks kind of cool. I'll, I thought I'd give it to my son-in-law, but um, I like it so much. I kept it. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I love it. You'll have to wear, you'll have to do some photos for your, um, for your website. Yeah, yeah. It's, With so that on. it's really warm. I bet it's warm. Do you need it for where you are? Is it cold? Oh, you're 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 in Sydney. You're close to Sydney, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got had the heater on a bit tonight. It's a bit, uh, a bit yes. cool tonight. Beautiful during the day, but then it was a bit chilly. Starting to chill down a little bit now, but I sleep so well. Yeah, I sleep I so well in this weather. Yeah. Okay, I'm just popping up. Just got onto Facebook, and I'm just popping up the link for everyone for the summit, and we'll have a chat about that in a minute. All right. Let me see if I can put the link in Okay, all up and running. Fantastic. So as I said, I'm going to be recording this and I'll pop this on um, YouTube and then I'll send the email out um, tomorrow night to everyone. That's fantastic. And we've had a bit of interest. We've had lots of questions. So it's very exciting. So thanks so much for joining me tonight. Oh, thank you for me. Yay. Really great to have you here. Now, just I just want to get a little bit of an overview. I just want to get a little bit of insight from you. Um, were you getting a bit too hot? Yeah, they're getting a bit hot now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Peter on, hat on. <laughs> Ugg boots on. Yes. Oh, have you got your Uggs on? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not cold enough for Uggs yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless, bless. I just want to get a bit of overview from you. It's, I, it's always great to hear um, people people's journey especially when you've got that you've gone that journey into sort of the, the natural health and particularly particularly what you're doing you know what what brought you here and what have you you know to this realization and what started you on this journey uh gee i think my journey's been going since i was a, a child um ah. it's it's been a long journey uh and i've always been i've always had you know tummy problems uh even when I was young, you know, I think when you're young, they call it a nervous tummy, you know, mm. it applies in the tummy or when something's happening and you're not, you know, maybe there's too many people around and I used to get a bit upset in the tummy because I was a very um, shy, shy girl. Um, but as it went on and as I experienced uh, a few things in life that were emotionally really challenging, um, you know, I was divorced. I went into another relationship that was really challenging. Um, my gut health just went from being bad, which was my normal, to really bad, uh, to a point where I just couldn't, I couldn't live like that anymore. Uh, I just wasn't enjoying myself. I was always tired. Um, I mean, I felt like a zombie until midday where I started getting a little bit of energy. and. And it really got to a point where I was having these episodes. Um, I was also um, fainting uh, because of the gut um, was so bad that, that I would faint. You know, I was base available. So um, if my gut was in deep distress and if I couldn't get to the toilet fast enough, I would wow. 
paint. And I did that in a shopping centre once. I did that on a bus once. Uh, so it, it, <laughs> it wasn't fun, but um, it, it was nice to get that the, the support from strangers when something like that happens. Uh, that was probably one of the nice things to come out of it. You know, I always try and find the silver yeah. lining with things now and uh, uh, and that was nice to see the, the like the best of humanity at a time when um, you know someone could have taken my purse and just run off with it because I was I was out on the floor but uh, I had all these people around me when I woke up and it was just so nice to, to oh, I think humans do they want to help most humans do yeah. want to help yeah when you're put in that situation yeah. so that was really lovely but it got to a point where I was having these um, episodes where I was getting hot and cold and then I'd have these body tremors um, and my heart was going a mile a minute. Uh, you know, I've, I've never had a heart attack, but it was like wow. you know, all I could do was just try and slow my breathing and, and control my breathing until it went away, you know, about 10 minutes later or so. So, And that would left me feeling exhausted uh, the next day. So I had to start to find the answers then because my life was just... It just wasn't happy and I certainly wasn't healthy. Yeah, just the stress, the stress of thinking when you're going out. I mean, that, that stress alone would make you just anxious to be in public places and places where yeah. you kind of feel trapped, I suppose. Exactly. It has. It did have a, like a knock-on effect after that happens. Then you think, then, you, then you know, I started to get scared of going out in public. Um, and what happens if there's not a toilet available? Because it's quite... Um, you know the link between the the gut and mm. and the bowel. So if something if if I couldn't get to a toilet quick smart, then I could have happened again. And yeah, that was scary to me. So I almost became a, a recluse because I didn't want that to happen again. And so I was, wow. I was smaller and smaller because I wasn't sure what my body was going to do at any given time. Uh, you know, I thought I was doing the right thing. I thought I was eating right, but and I'm, and that's and I suppose we'll touch on that tonight. But re but when you're putting your body through, when you're becoming a recluse and you're anxious anxious about going out, it's it's the worst possible situation to heal the body. That's not you know because you're where where you are in that anxiety and where you are in that fight flight freeze mode, you you just can't you, you wouldn't be able to heal directly from that place. No, that was a that was a struggle, and that's when I had to find a solution to get myself out of that. Uh, and you, you know, the, obviously, one of the first things that I had to do was start to look at what I was eating. Uh, okay. Because, you know, I, I had IBS my whole life, but I never knew it was called IBS. That was just my normal. I didn't know any different. I'd always had that whole cycle of diarrhea, bloating, constipation. Um, you know, sore tummy gas when I was nervous or, or stressed. So, and that just continued on into my adulthood and got worse, uh, especially when more stress came along. Mm -hmm. uh, is that the know. pattern you see? Do you see that an awful lot with people that, that emotion, especially with the gut, is that something you just see time and time again, that emotional aspect connected to the gut function? Yeah, absolutely. I, uh, the mind and body, they're pretty much one, you mm. know, the, when we think of something like when we get angry, what does the body do? You know, we get red cheeks, we get our blood pressure goes up, our heart rate increases. So, you know, that's one of the, the good examples of, of how the mind-body connection works. So what we think really comes out physically. So if we're happy, you know, we smile, we might even cry with tears of, of, of happiness that we're looking at something really funny or something. Um, so the body responds to what we're thinking and how we're feeling. Mm -hmm. And if we're thinking and feeling negatively, we're, you know, causing all this harm inside the body that's going to come out in one way or another. Yeah. Know? And I think people find it very difficult to, to think like that. We separate things. We're just so mm -hmm. used to separating the mind, our emotions and our body. We've got this physicality and then we've got this brain that thinks mm -hmm. and yeah. we just completely separate it. Yeah. But once exactly. you start, I was I was listening to an interview um, the other day about nocebos and nocebos are when, you know, you're given a diagnosis. So you're given a diagnosis of cancer or autoimmune or or, mm. you know, um, 
arthritis or, or you're given a disease and you're, you're told this is what you've got. So you actually then start displaying, even if you haven't got symptoms, you then does start displaying the symptoms and you go down the symptom cycle, every single symptom, I should be getting it now. And they've said the same with chemotherapy. Some people were given, they weren't given chemo, they were doing an experiment and their hair actually fell out, even yeah. though they don't, weren't given the chemo. It's amazing, isn't it? And that's just, you know, some more examples of how powerful yeah. the mind-body connection is. Mm -hmm. If we really believe something. I mean, I have a friend and uh, I don't think she's on tonight. She's just arrived home from PG, lucky girl. Um, but she is so great at manifesting things. Like we have a chat and, um, and I'm sure she won't mind me um, saying this. I won't mention her name, but she's, she's been wanting to, to bring more positivity into her life. And as soon as we have some, um, like a chat around, well, how much is it that you want to, you know, with finances, this we you know how many people stress about finances mm -hmm. you know we, we all do at one point of an, an, an another so i said to her right what's the amount of money that you want to attract in your life what's how much do you want you know to earn or how much you and she gave me an amount and the next day she rang me and said you'll never guess i got an offer to buy this place for the exact same amount that i told you that i said yesterday she is so brilliant. Wow, yeah. Once you believe in it wholeheartedly, you'd be surprised at what, you know, the universe brings to you. Yes, whether it's good or bad. So then it's the knowing, you know, the belief and the knowing. If you know something, it, that, that will happen, you know. just I was actually having this discussion with my husband in bed the other night because I said to him, do you know the sun will rise tomorrow? And he goes, yeah, I know it will rise tomorrow. And I said, what if it's our knowing that makes it right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it could be like us all saying we know it's going to happen, but if we all went around and said, no, it's not going to happen, maybe it wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Who yeah, knows? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we do think these things because you think that all the time. And it's even with ourselves, you know, um, you know, if you're sick, if you if you feel a little bit sick and you in the old days when you want to have a sick day when I was working full time and you sort of talk yourself into feeling more sick. Oh, I feel headache. Yeah. My head's oh, I can't go to work. My head. Yeah, and then not. you call in sick and then, oh, I feel better. I feel good now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to go to the shops and do some shopping and <laughs> Yes. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know how some you know when they say, Well, once once someone in the family has a cold, everyone gets it. Well, not everyone does, you know, and you, but you've got to look at um, their immune health for one thing, but, mm -hmm. but also, you know, their positivity as well, you know, how they're thinking. The whole outlook. Yeah. So how do you work with your clients? How do you, it's, I, I find this fascinating kind of bringing the two together, um, bringing, bringing those two worlds together, that the positive mindset, which people think of, they think of, you know Tony Robbins and all of those and and you know the manifesting and the money and that how do you how do you work with that and bring them both together because I think that's a wonderful way to work okay well the process I use is called the mind detox uh, method mm -hmm. um, and it's it's different to um, thinking positive it's different to uh, manifestation or affirmations and all of that because we're working on one specific um, say emotion um, or it could even be, you could even come at it from a disease as well, if you've got psoriasis or, or something like that. What we get to is the root, where that first started, and with a disease, uh, if you've got some sort of disease like psoriasis or anything really, look back to about a year, a year and a half before you actually got the first symptoms. So a year to a year and a half. A year to a year and a half, and you'll find an event that triggered something in your body in your belief system that your body then manifested in this disease mm. so it, you know you can work on it on that kind of uh, aspect or you can work on it um, on a negative emotion something that kind of shows up in your life uh, again and again whether it's uh, anger or you know, lack of self-worth, um, feeling unloved, guilt, shame. Mm -hmm. you know, these really strong emotions that that keep you stuck, that stop you from moving forward, that always get you to, you get to a certain point 
and then you know you're doing great you're doing great you're doing great and then something happens or this belief kicks in especially when you start to be successful and you're doing things and you're you're getting achieving your goals and you're whatever it is whether you're losing weight or you're making money or whatever your goal is and then you get to a certain point and then a belief may kick in and saying you're not good enough you're not worthy enough you know you're doing so well but then this little negative voice Okay. stops you in your tracks and, and you listen to that and then your success starts to, to diminish because that you've, you've got that thought in your head and you're believing it. Okay, so system. That, that's exactly one of the questions that I got sent in um, from my newsletter list. One of the questions was, was actually around that. Mm-hmm. It was... Um, it was, I'm doing, yeah, and I actually get this a lot from clients. I do really well. The momentum's going. I'm eating well. I'm having my, the right food. I'm out of not having sugar, not having alcohol. And then suddenly something happens. They're exercising and then suddenly something happens. And they're not sure what it is that happens, but something kind of just spins them off out of that, out of that road and into another one. And suddenly, it's gone. Yeah, I don't feel like exercising. Oh, I'm going to have that chocolate. I'm going to have that pizza. And, and each night turns into each night. Oh, I'm going to have that, that alcohol and wine. So you saying that it's, is it, is it, is it something that can happen to them that then changes that, that, that old mindset and belief sort of kicks back in? Is that what, is that what's yeah, there's happening? Yeah, belief. it might be a belief that uh, maybe you're not deserving of the success mm-hmm. of, of what you're achieving. Um, so it's really getting to the emotion that they're feeling at that time as to why they want to stop doing what is 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 really good doing you know good things for them positive mm. things for their for their bodies for their health so what what do you what are you feeling at that time that makes you stop and what's okay. that emotion and what is get, the emotion what's the emotion so really feel into that. And what's a good way to feel? Would you say doing a bit of meditating or something like that is, or, or journaling is a good way to identify what's really going on? Yeah, whatever, whatever, because everyone's different. So, you know, I'm, I don't journal. I, I, I like to, but I just, it's not, you know, it's not for me. But if it's for you, that's great. Any way that you can, um, that you can, it, it's about not resisting what's coming up for you. So not resist coming up for you. Yeah, don't resist it. Um, go with it because it, it's, it's coming up for a reason. Okay? Mm-hmm. Your body wants to bring something to your attention for you to resolve. And when you resolve that, you can start moving forward. And, and you know, right. it's gone. No. okay okay that makes sense that does make sense because I know some people are always saying you know it seems to be cyclic that you know, it happens and then it comes again and then they get do well and then it comes again and it's just this forever cycle it could be you know and a lot of people get to a certain point and then they get scared they get mm-hmm. scared what happens if I do achieve this you know what happens if I do get the weight loss and I'm the size and the weight and how I want to look and I can go shop for clothes and feel sexy again what happens when I do achieve that and that actually might look scary to them because it's something new um Mm -hmm. they might feel like they're losing a bit of confidence if they do achieve that or maybe they're going to get more attention which might be a bit scary for them okay something about it what you're achieving is something about that that is an issue okay so uh, you mentioned weight actually because that's an interesting one because I work with a lot of women when it comes to weight and weight loss and you do find I mean there's lots of different reasons but you do find that that some women no matter what they do and even when they go through and even when they've come and seen me and they go through everything they're yeah. still they just still can't can't get that little bit extra further and the weight just the weight just stays on so you're saying there could be that emotional element to it as well that fear mm. of what if what if I do lose it what what then you know yeah there could be there could be there uh, a, an emotional uh, connection with that weight um, with with weight gain it can also um, be a, a sense of um, protection 
Um, I know I've had uh, clients who've, who've felt after they've done a, a session um, and they've offloaded some of the crap, some of the negative emotions, yeah. they've been able to lose weight more easily um, oh. because that weight also resembles um, a protection, so a physical protection of an emotional event. You know, it could represent right. it. So there's, there's lots of things that, and especially if we're very, in our early years, you know, when, when we're young, 7, 14 years, um, especially like 7 years and, and under, that's a huge gap. That's a huge uh, area in our life when we start to form beliefs, which then we take on into adulthood. And, you know, at and a child seven, three, four, five, six years of age, we're, we're only, we haven't formed a mature brain yet to understand, you know, fully mm -hmm. when things happen that, you know, it might not be their fault, it might not be someone else's fault or, you know, something may have happened that might, might be really scary. So um, from then on in the future, they've, they've been afraid to go to certain places because something happened. So there's, there's events that happened in our past that have shaped how we think today. Mm -hmm. And that has a, either a, a positive or a negative effect on, on what we do, how we, how we feel and how we, um, how we react. That make, I mean, that makes sense. And then, okay, so, and that, so that is what can make it quite difficult because it's hard for us to... It's yeah. hard for us ourselves to go back there and think, you know, what what is it? What why is it? Why is this happening to me? What are the what are the issues going on? I mean, it's if it's glaringly obvious and something has happened yeah. recently, but if it's from way back, then that's what makes it tricky. It does, and that yeah. going through the process that I do, we get to because we're working with the unconscious mind, and um, you know, the unconscious mind houses our emotions, our beliefs, our behaviours, and our healing. Mm -hmm. So. Working on that level, that's where we get to all those, you know, all the good stuff. Once we resolve an issue from, and it doesn't have to be from when we were young. It could be something, um, could be something that happened yesterday. It could be, you know, yeah, okay. upset with your boss or something. But we track it back to as early as we can, and then when we resolve it, then it just dissolves, you know, everything from then on. We've, we've come to a new conclusion about. We've come to new come to a new belief about that whole situation, and and it, and it's not a problem anymore. So it's um, about finding that new belief. It's about it, yeah, you you create a new belief through the process. It, okay. The real the real key is to find that that event that first started that belief. Mm -hmm. um, so, say for me, I was my first time ever doing this uh, this method. And it totally shocked me to what I got. I was I worked on um, I worked on sadness, so the emotion sadness. Mm. And through this, through through the first time that I did this, I got the event was. This is going to sound really weird. The event was being born wow. because I was born nine weeks prem. And. From I've always had this, always had this underlying sadness. Um, I've always been a very sensitive, you know, young kid, very shy. But the reason that I was sad from when I was born is because I felt a burden um, to my mum and and to my dad for for putting them through all this worry because you know nine weeks prem all the way you know, a long time ago now, <laughs> you know, it's been a long time. Um, and I know how much they worried at the time mm. about, you know, about whether I was going to be all right. And I burst into tears in my first time doing this because it, I never, ever would have thought that that was the event. Wow. It was a cause it's, of it's a really deep, deep-seated sadness. Um, because I can I can see in my life now in hindsight the events that happened 
that still that made me repeat that feeling guilty and sad for hurting my parents you know because I was a disappointment and, and all that so it, it we traced it all the way back to then and then I uh, through the process I um, you know came to a new conclusion about it you know obviously it wasn't my fault I was born premature that just happened so you know this that's a process you work through you come to a new conclusion yes um because our thoughts aren't always the truth they're just thoughts you know and we can change them but you know, yeah the truth and, it, and, it, and it's hard like you had to go through that process and you, your clients go through that process it, it is hard for us to peel back the onions on that because i yeah. think we can say to, we can tell ourselves so many different truths we exactly so we can't get to the real we can we can say whatever we want really to ourselves and that's what we do to keep ourselves safe. Mm. You know, if we have to rationalise something to make us feel better, we will rationalise something. If we have to tell ourselves not doing something is okay because we will feel easier about it, then we will do it. Sometimes things are a little difficult and we do have to push ourselves a bit to achieve those results. So our body, our mind is always there to help us um you know it's there to help us so if, if we're going through something it's going to how we're, what we're thinking is going to create something to help us to be safe mm -hmm. even if it comes out in a, like um psoriasis you know with an extra hard piece of um the skin um, layer on your skin that's it's a form of uh, protection that the body saying you know i'm protecting you even though it's coming out in a, you know, in, a, in that way, and but it's coming out as a form of protection, and and maybe that is stopping them doing something that that would be scary to them. Mm. You know what I mean? so. Interesting. Yes, it's it's very. I mean, it's it's interesting to just dive into it a little bit deeper because we. I mean, everyone sort of says they know. Oh, I feel like this because I'm stressed or because something bad happened. But just to go that little bit deeper, to be yeah. a little bit more aware. Yeah, and of course, stress is a huge thing. And I, mm -hmm. both health. You know, if I'm stressed, then my gut health is it gets worse. So stress is definitely one of the hugest things uh, to always be mindful of. Yeah, that's self care comes in. That's where your time every day comes in you know we're still we're still a physical body we still have to look after that as well you know as our mental state you know the two go hand in hand for me absolutely i mean but where if the people that aren't that aren't here yet or they're struggling with this struggling with sort of melding the two together where's the best place to start i mean is it is it to the stories we tell ourselves are they as simple is, is it as simple as just having a a positive outlook on your health and a positive outlook on on things is that a good place to start or it, it it can be hard for people who are like when i was in my my worst days there's no way i was going to be positive yeah yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah you just it's hard to be positive when you're in pain mm -hmm. or when you're you going through something physically um mm -hmm. and i uh, I think I shared this with you um, earlier in our, in our interview before. Um, my first port of healing was to go see a naturopath um, with my IBS because my doctor had no idea what was wrong with me. And my first consult with her lasted, I think it was an hour and a half. It was a long one. And I spent most of that crying because I just, I couldn't, she was asking me questions and I couldn't really explain myself fully because I didn't know what I was feeling or what I was, mm. you know, I just couldn't express myself because I just felt like crap. Yes. So it, it can be hard to, and, and, you know, we're always told to think positive and, and do this, do that every day, drink your water. But at the stages when you're feeling, you know, you're feeling like crap, your body is is what seems like it's falling to pieces when it's really trying to tell you something. Mm -hmm. But at the time, you don't know. I didn't know it. I didn't know what it was trying to tell me. Um, 
So it's really about, you know, you can start with what, what are you feeling? What's the biggest emotion right now that you're feeling? And let's deal with that. Okay. You know, it could be anger. It could be sadness. It could be frustration. Um, it could be anxiety. Yes. Everyone seems to have, yeah, that default, the neg- that emotion that, you know, you either get people come in saying, oh, I'm frustrated or I'm angry or, like you said, I think, um, and, and anxious is, what, is probably one of the biggest ones I, I get a lot of, anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. Anxiety. I used to do yoga and um, meditation, guided meditation, so I'd listen to, um, it's very hard for me to meditate on my own without, I'm, I'm always thinking about things, so a guided it's, meditation. It's one of the hardest things to stop the, stop the mind. Yeah. Just absolutely so, cut the mind off, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, find what, find what works for you. Um, as I say, I, I love yoga. Yoga is such a great grounding uh, for me, yeah. I think. It's just even if it's five, ten minutes that you're stretching or you're doing something, um, you, it, it definitely makes a shift in the mind quite quickly, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, and when I was struggling, I used to do it twice a day because I was getting that much benefit from it. So I would make time. And and I know we're so busy and, and we always say, well, I don't have time for that, I don't have time for that. You make time for what is really important to you or what really makes a difference. Yeah. And, you know, I was getting up before work and I was doing an hour each time, so an hour in the morning before work and an hour um, in the evening before I went to bed. And it really helped because I was in such a bad state back then, not only physically but with my relationship at the time so Mm -hmm. find you know what works for you uh it might even be a walk it might even be just a chat to a friend that that connection is actually really important yes Uh, get on you know get on messenger get on a video chat and have a chat with your best friend and just get it all out because when you're chatting with a friend and I, i do this with you know a few of my friends we just have a great chat get everything out and then go, you know, right, okay, I'm ready to get back to it, ready to get back to work, ready to do whatever I was doing. I think that connection, and, and, it, and it's not just getting on the phone and chatting, you know, to someone on Facebook, or, or, which can help, but really get that eye contact and talk one-on-one and really get things. Yes. You know, I get we isolate ourselves a lot. We do isolate ourselves. And like you said, that eye contact is so very important. Yeah. You know, that's that's what animals do. That's what humans would. Have, you know, we don't do that enough, and that's what's so important. Exactly, we're always we're doing this too much. Yes. <laughs> and you, some people talk the way some people talk. They don't talk to you as well. It's like everyone's too busy doing something else, and it's kind of talking away from you and yeah, doing yeah. things and talking and yeah. <laughs> One thing I find that helps just release any kind of emotion is swearing. Ah, wow. Okay. What, just shouting at me or just? Whatever it feels right for you at the time. (laughs) Maybe not in public, up to you. But, uh, you know, just get it. I think they've they've proven it, that it does actually. Ah. It does. It just releases it really quite effectively. Releases that um, that emotion and then just get it. Just get on with it. Yeah, okay. That's a good, that's a good bit of advice. Just go get, get on swearing. <laughs> just, just go for it, and then you know you'll feel lighter. And <laughs> wow, I love that. I'll have a look. I'll have a look at that study. I think I remember you saying that about they've done a study on this that, that swearing does help. Yeah. Um, that's wonderful. Okay, so figure so kind of just get get into what the emotion is you're feeling that's that's mm. what you know just figure figure out what is it what is that emotion you're feeling and then you might understand it a little bit more deeply whether it's guilt or anxiety or shame you know what's going on there and mm. I mean these emotions as well they're very much connected to eating binge binge eating food so it's probably a similar emotion and I know um, I mentioned to you and, and I get a lot of clients that talk about you know not not having willpower to give up chocolate or sugar or this kind of thing and again it probably comes back to the same well it does come back to the same thing you know this the, these emotions yeah and as you say you, you know that sugar is addictive 
-hmm. it's not you know it physically it's it is addictive so you're you're coming at it from that angle as well but there's basically three reasons why we don't get what we want um and they are that we've got some negative emotions that we're resisting mm -hmm. so time and time again you'll notice in your life that the same emotions pop up when a certain events happen oh. and when we keep resisting that emotion or, or not dealing with it um you know because it's coming up for a reason we we it's we there's something that we need to learn from it but if we're not learning from it, we're not learning our lesson, it's going to keep showing up in life again and again and again until we either get sick of it and, you know, start looking at why it's coming up yes. and learning that lesson um, or it's just, you know, it's just going to keep going. So that that's one thing. The um, emotions that we're resisting, they come out as anger, um, you know, guilt, sadness, um, fear, shame resentment all these negative emotions that always stop us in our tracks you know mm -hmm. and anger is one of them um so yeah so negative emotions then we've got uh, limiting beliefs okay so what are we thinking is it like um i can't and i i said one i said one in this uh, just about five minutes ago like i find it it's really hard to meditate well i can work on that and then find it really easy you know, it, it it's, a, it's a belief of mine that it's hard to meditate on my own. Okay, so that's yeah. something I can work on. So when you're saying, you know, people are always or it's hard or I can't or all these things are belief that we can So change. I have no willpower. So a lot of clients, yeah. look at, I have no willpower. Yeah. It, that's a belief that's, if they believe that, of course, they're not going to be able to move forward right. or we, have the willpower. Whatever we believe, we create. Mm hmm so as you say, with the with those tests where they gave um, people placebos mm -hmm. and their hair was falling out, even though they were perfectly fine, you know. Um, yes. Okay. It, it is. You know, the mind's really powerful, and what we believe is really powerful. Uh, you know, there are people who've been in such really really bad situations, really traumatic situations, um, and. <laughs> There's a few. Um, there's an interview on the on the summit, which is just absolutely amazing, uh, and I don't want to give it away. But she's she started with absolutely nothing, um, mm -hmm. and she was a mum at the time as well of, of some special needs children. She had she was homeless, absolutely nothing. Everything was stolen from her, and more. And she's now an award winning CEO with her own business and. She's absolutely happy and thriving. And oh well, I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah, I, I, I'm getting goosebumps. Just, but it all started with her belief system mm -hmm. and what her number one thing that got her through that, through that, and out of that was gratitude. Wow. And you could be thinking, how, how on earth? What on earth is there to be grateful for when you've got nothing? Mm -hmm. So. That's the power of beliefs. Wow. And she's on the summit. She's on your... She's on the summit and uh, his story is absolutely amazing. Um, and there's even, there's, there's others as well who, who've also been through some oh, traumatic right. events. And belief is such a key thing. A lot, of, a lot of times gratitude has come up, being grateful. And it could be just being grateful that you've, you know, you, you've, you've got your body you've got your health mm -hmm. and maybe even to a, a certain extent you'd even be grateful that you had breakfast or you had a piece of you know you had some food that day you could be grateful that someone smiled at you when you were going to work gratitude can exist in so many different ways mm. and it really helps the brain to become more positive when you're more positive you start to do things to create more positivity and more success in your life. It's a domino effect. So that's, that's something that also needs to be looked at. So um, look at what the beliefs mm -hmm. that you're thinking. Um, and the third thing is ineffective behaviour. So, yes, we still need to do 
we still need to do things um, repeatedly before they become a habit. So the unconscious okay. mind likes, you know, repetitive things, then it becomes a habit. So start doing things and, and take the emotion out of it. Just, just do it. And if the emotion is stopping you, all right, let's look at the emotion. What is the emotion? Okay. And then we work back to where, where did it really come from? What's okay. the you know, so that emotion is showing up. Let's find out. Let's find out the root cause. Let's go back and find why it's a problem for you, why it keeps coming up to be a problem for you. Okay, so just keep on. So keep that habit. Okay, now, so w when I've got clients, for instance, and they say, well, I was doing so well, I was doing so well, and then suddenly I, I wasn't doing it. Really, you know, when at that point, in that moment when you stopped doing it, that's when you should have gone, okay, what's happening now? What's happening yeah. right now? What, what, what were you thinking? Yeah. What's the resistance? Happened? Did you get a call from a friend and she was happy about losing weight and you feel dejected? What was it? Yeah, you know, there could be a million and one things. You know, everyone's different. So it's about what is it for you? Did, did something happen? What are you feeling? What were you, what were you feeling before that? It's all about getting to the emotion and what, what's the real problem. That's brilliant advice. And, and just the fact about just the, the repetition each day, because I think people don't realise how powerful that is. Just doing, you just have to keep doing the same thing, keep doing that good habit or keep doing it yeah. until it does become so natural. Well, that's right. I mean, when I first started doing my, my detox, uh, and it wasn't a harsh detox, you know, with fluids. It was just getting back to real foods and, and getting off the processed foods uh, and, and all the foods that, you know, the gluten, all the stuff that wasn't good for me at the time. Yeah, it was hard because I'd never done it before and I didn't know, you know, I didn't know what to cook for myself. I didn't know what meals to make. I was getting sick of eating the same thing. And so I just had to keep learning and finding what worked for me so that that process and I was on um I was on that plan for about four months I think about four and a half months and in that time I learned what foods I liked what foods worked for me uh even what time of day they worked for me mm -hmm. and now it's just become you know it's just become a habit because I know by doing this I feel healthy yes you know and even that even that, I can I can now have gluten products, not a problem, you know. So it's it's a great process to work when you're, you know, you're combining the gut, the physical health with the the mindset health, the mental health. Um, I think that the two work really, really well hand in hand. It's encompassing everything. Yeah, absolutely everything. And you know, everyone's different. So someone may be ready to. Uh, be dealing with the body stuff first. Someone may want to deal with the mind stuff first. Um, so either way, you know, just do what feels right for you. And that, that's the whole, that's the whole thing. That, that That's all you can ask of anyone, you know. We can, I mean, I searched for ages looking for things that, that would work for me. Um, and there's, there's lots of things out there. And that's why, that's why I did the summit. There's lots of, of techniques and different uh, tips and tools that uh, people have that that work, but the the question is, do they are they what you want to do? You're yeah. right. There's so there's so much out there. And and they, yeah, they all work. You did touch on it, so I just wanted to talk about the summit a little bit more because the Your Health Transformation Summit. How did that come about? What because you've got? I mean, there's so many speakers on there, all different types from doing all kind different kinds of things yeah. what so what where did this come about did you just did you think i want to get all this out this information out to people or what because <laughs> there's a lot of speakers on there and a lot of there are a lot groups. of speakers yeah and they're all from different as you say different you know there's yourself there's uh i've got doctors i've got coaches i've got personal trainers i've got so many as i say um success coaches it's all about, for me, health and happiness. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, if you haven't got your health, it's pretty hard to be happy. Uh, and that's, that's, 
that's what I want for people. For, for many years, I wasn't both. You know, I wasn't healthy or happy. Um, I'd be happy on the outside, but on the inside, there was a lot going on. And it came a time when my body said, okay, well, now you're going to have to, to look at that because, you know, it really put me on my backside a few times. Uh, so I had to, I had to look at what was going on. And this is, this is what it, you know, I find, I found what works for me, but I know not everyone is the same. We're all different. So I just wanted to provide a whole range of, of different modalities, different people, and they're all over the world too. So if, if you find something that works for you, fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's not me, I don't care, you know. Find what works for you and become your healthy, happy self. Yes. I think, if, yeah, if people could just pursue that and, and know to, to just to feel good each day and not to be waking up feeling like shit and yeah. tired and grumpy. I mean, it's just, you you just want that for everybody. You want that for everybody. Exactly. When And I've been there, you know, like I said, that 12 o'clock in the afternoon is when I started to feel half decent, half human. I feel like a zombie all day and that was my life that was always my life pretty much until I realized what what was the issue and gosh life's going by so quickly you know don't wait don't wait anymore to to feel healthy to feel happy find what works for you go for it you deserve it you deserve to live a happy life you deserve to be whatever you want happy healthy successful whatever it is you know, everyone, and I truly believe that everyone's got something to give this world. Everyone's got a special gift. And you may not feel it right now because, you know, you might be you know, physically, you might feel unwell, emotionally, you might feel like you're not capable, you know, unworthy. Unworthy is a big one. How many of us feel unworthy? And yes, um, we doubt. We doubt ourselves. We doubt whether we can do something, whether we can achieve something. You know, just just go for it. We're all going to make mistakes. That's just that's human nature. That's a given. We're all going to make mistakes. It's part of life. Yeah, that's just that's, that's, just, that's just the fun of it. That's right. That's how we learn. We learn from our mistakes and we move on. You know, but just be happy, be healthy, and just just love and live life. Oh, that's a beautiful message. I can, oh, it's an absolutely beautiful message. I can see a few ladies online on the Zoom. So I hope that, I hope that's um, inspiring and also on Facebook page. So mm -hmm. thank you. Now, before you go, I just want to find out who's the first, who's the first speaker on the summit and it kicks off on June 1st. So that's mm -hmm. three days, I think. Not three days. Yeah. Oh, of course, it's a long month. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, I've got two, actually. I've got two sisters. Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Yes. System, system, <laughs> am I allowed to say? Am I allowed to say? Yeah, 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 go on, yeah. <laughs> okay. System mixing. Yeah, I know. Beautiful. So they've um, just launched their, um, they're doing their, they're doing their online program, the Additive Free Pantry at the moment. Yeah, they're doing yeah, great exactly. They've got the their new course. Yeah. Additive, additive, additive Free. Are there stories? Um, grab a tissue when you watch their stories um, oh. and that's that's what I love about you know everyone that's on the summit has gone through and no matter how successful you are how famous you are we've all gone through shit mm -hmm. that's life all these people have gone through it and they've come out the other end and now they're so passionate about sharing what they've learned to help people be healthy and happy and that's what I love they're, they're just so passionate they've been through it they've they've you know gone through the same stuff um whether it's emotional physical or both and they found a technique or, or certain techniques that work for them and that's why I want to share because it's so there's so many different um so many different things they've gone through whether it's coming from a disease or or emotion or it's just everything there so uh, I, I'm really I'm really you know happy that I got to connect with all these people um, and yourself included because it's been such a joy 
learning about your stories and how you got through it. Mm. Um, and I, I really hope people get a, whole, a, a lot of benefit. Oh, just thank you. From stories. Thank you so much. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for answering those questions and, and telling us your story and also giving some inspiration. I'm, I'm going to be writing these, these tips up because I think you gave those tips were fantastic in terms of how to how to see that emotion and what to do in that in that instance and, and what to look out for. So that's wonderful. Um, and thank you for sh you doing the summit and letting everybody share their story for everybody else. Because I think that's a great way to do it and a great way for everyone to be able to, like you say, figure out what works for them and just connect with different people in this field. So thank you so much. We do appreciate that. Well, thank you for having, it's been a great to chat to you again today. It's been really lovely. And, uh, uh, you know, if you need me, I'm here for anything. Um, thank you for all the work that you do too. Because I know it, it's, it's so important. It's so important that people connect with someone that they resonate with. So, um, Again. No, thank you. And I'm going to put the link to the summit in the comments. And if people want to connect with you, they can go to renajoy.com. Yes. Is that right? If they want to connect, have a look on your website, you've got some wonderful stuff on there, some really great um, inspiration on there. And I'll put the link to the summit in the comments in the, in the title. So um, join up before the first and they'll get sister mixing on the first. Yeah. And um, I'll send you a couple of free ebooks that I've got as well. So. Oh, yeah, you get bonuses as well when you sign up. Yes, you sign up before the first. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much. Thank Sleep you well. so much, Ruby. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Rena. Bye. Ciao.